What's up everyone, it's Dan, here introducing you to my favorite working artist in Montreal. She's had exhibitions with Montreal's Never Apart and resident artist at the Festival Afro Urbain 2021. Let's roll with Steffi Boucher. Can you tell us your uh, Instagram name? Uh, so my Instagram name is Stefinou. Uh, you spell it S-T-F underscore F-I-N-O-O. That's me. Yeah, I'm gonna work on settings. Sure. Watch for the big photo. What lens have you got on there? Uh, a wide one. Oh, the big one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same as yours. Wide angle. Super wide. I like shooting wide angle. So you can catch angle. the whole wide world. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. You got me. <laughs> that's it. Pretty much love it. Even for portraits. Yeah. Love it. So I'm trying to practice a uh, bunch of time with it so I kind of know what I can get with that wide angle. Architecture wise and portrait wise. You've had an exhibition lately of your series called yeah. City Wonders. Uh, yes, it was actually lately. It was uh, for 2020. It was for 2020 at Never Park Center. And yeah, it was kind of cool to have this opportunity to show my work. And City Wonders, it's about street photography. And in post-production, I put a little touch of multi-exposure, double exposure, and a little se sepia look. And I, I saw that exhibition virtually. That was interesting. Uh, ah, yeah. It was only available virtually because at that time, every uh, gallery were closed. Nice. But it was cool. The process was cool. Putting the pictures on the wall. Preparing everything, dimensions for prints, and kind of look for um, what kind of setup I, I wanted in the gallery. That was exciting. That was a bit stressful because it was my first time, but I was pretty much excited. Yeah. What could you say to somebody who was looking to find their first exhibition? Uh, I would just say go for it. You're gonna make it for sure, and you're gonna have this opportunity to uh, to make people see your work because I think when you create you kind of like uh, focus on on what the impact is on you but when you can uh, show that photographs or that those photographs to anybody else and you can have feedback and you can acknowledge that what you saw when you create those pictures is not actually what people are seeing in them and that's and that's good I mean to me it feels good to see that it could be interpreted differently and that's pretty much interesting and it makes me love what I do go for it if you want to showcase your work somewhere go for it it's a pretty cool experience cool. I'm gonna spend so much time on changing stuff rather than focusing on the composition so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring some uh, automatic in there like aperture priority <laughs> and then I'm gonna change uh, anything else that can help kind of uh, when you take away some technical decisions you can focus more on a creative choice yeah that's it and then uh, when I was <laughs> when I was taking that picture of you next to the D, <laughs> I kind of struggled ah. because we were pretty limited in time and I mean the picture looks shitty now. <laughs> no. So now I'm gonna focus on my composition and get some help out of out of the aperture priority. Perfectly reasonable. I 
before I cannot get a hold of what I want. So let's keep chasing. Sure. The chase is on. Yep. <laughs> Hi, doggy. I'm pretty much interested by geometry. So I would go for shapes. I would go for shapes. This is a master class, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 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 what are you shooting over there? I mean, green stuff. Yeah. Staying healthy. Nice. <laughs> Good for you. Breaking the whole uh, uniform ground, so to me, it's giving some textures. Kind of have this interest in trees lately, but like leafless trees. Looks like they're doing some kind of a dance for us. So yeah, pretty much trying to work on that and so mixing it with architecture. It's all architecture in the end. Are you shooting for color or for black and white right now? Like a monochrome look? If I feel like I need to um, emphasize shapes with black and white, I would probably go for it. But I would trust the colors and see where it gets me to. I was thinking I took some, I don't know if it was a, yes, it was kind of a Museum of Modern Art of New York that's called Seeing Through Photographs. I think they, they're still doing it, but you discover a lot about history of photography and different styles of photography. And there was, I think, this street photographer there was they were talking about at the time. I think it was in that class. And the guy was doing street portraits with a flash. I don't remember, but he was doing them with, with, with a flash, so it was pretty much hard to be sneaky. And but that was it was beautiful pictures. I don't remember the name of that guy, but I wish I would so I could tell you. But it was uh, surprising how we could get those those kind of perfect shots, even with a flash. You know, can see photography with a flash. He get caught every time. <laughs> But he had super results. I don't know if he got consent of a lot of consent from people to, to post or if it was I don't know. That was good anyway. I, and think I definitely recommend that class with the MoMA. And then you get a small certificate, like you have a small degree of the MoMA. And you learn a bunch of stuff about different uh, style of photography. Uh, may it be street photography, uh, fine art photography, or like commercials too. And that's pretty much interesting. Yeah. Hey, Steffi. Yeah. Uh, Do you have any photographers that you admire? This one guy doing abandoned place photography, I think, and a whole uh, bunch of cool, of, bunch of cool stuff, other stuff. And there is one of this book uh, called Sinking Ships. It's about a ghost town in the U.S. He's telling a story uh, with the pictures of those abandoned houses and what he found what he found inside 
the house. And that's a nice book. And that's a nice photographer. Kyle Thompson. Go check him out. Very cool. Would you ever publish a book? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't thought about it. But uh, I guess if I want to do it, I will. I yeah. will pre-order that right now. <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it. Cool shot. Cool shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch as she skips through time, finding photos that transcend space and dimensionality. Now, uh, what did you think of the shots that you took today? Um, well, they're more than I don't know. I took a bunch of shots, I love the shapes, the geometry we found, the, the light was interesting, uh, the walk was fine, we're exercising here mostly, <laughs> and yeah, but it's always fun uh, going on photo walks and going on photo walks with Dan, <laughs> it's the, Dan is the best part. Thanks for coming, that was pretty fun, Yeah. following you. Yeah, thanks Dan for the invitation. And I'll see you around. Check out Steffi on Instagram, Steffi New. I'll uh, add her link into the description. Thanks for coming along for the trip. This was Roll with Steffi. Thank you, bye.